In this tutorial, we are going to have a look at how we can create a menu for assigning keybinds to different actions in our games. Um, as you can see here, I have five different actions. I have four movement actions, which is move up, lift, down, and right. And these actions are bound to WASD. And at the bottom here, I have a jump action, which is bound to space. So I don't have any game to demonstrate this, but I have created a simple script that writes something in the console window whenever I press any of the buttons. So when I press up, it will write up and so on. So if I play the game here, and I know you can't see my keyboard, but if I press the different keys here, we'll see that it's actually written up here. So all these keybinds we have here actually works. So I can try to clear the console. So the point of this is that we should be able to reassign these keys to something that we want. Let's say that I want to move up on the up arrow. Then I need to click the W and press the up arrow. And then the key has been changed to yeah up. If we click the left one, we can assign left arrow, down arrow, and right arrow. So right now, when I press the arrow keys, well, then it's written in the console instead. Um, it's still written in the console even though I press the other keys. If I press the old keys now, well then nothing happens and nothing is written in the console because those old keys has been unbound. Um, if I would just stop my game and play it again, you'll see that the key binds here has been reset to the standard WASD. But I can actually save these um, key binds here by pressing pressing the save button here. So if I click the save button, and I stop running my game and I run it again. Well, then the keys here is, has been reassigned to what I assigned them to before I saved. So when I click them now, they still work. So this is basically what we are going to be doing in this tutorial. And by the way, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like my Facebook page and follow me on Twitter for more videos and updates. If you're interested in supporting me, well, then you can do that by acquiring this project throughout the link in the description below.